Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about the Guardian Angel Micro. This is a white and orange LED signaling light. It's made for personnel who work on the roads and people who would do activities on or near the roads to signal other automobiles and personnel. In other words, it's a signaling light to help mark your location and prevent anyone from running into you. Uh, if you're running or if you're cycling, this is a pretty good light to use. If you're working with emergency services, fire police and other services that are on the road this would be something to look into now this is the uh, micro version they sell an elite version which is the bigger version of this light uh, i got this in a configuration of white and orange from my brother it was a gift an early christmas gift so uh, they make other versions like white red and blue white yellow and i think white red and green as well what comes in the box is what you see on the table here we have a manual the light itself and on the bottom we have the magnetic clip base we have a USB-C cable and the box itself I'm going to go over the UI here put these on the sides open up our manual so when you first get the light uh, you're gonna hold down these two buttons or plug it in uh, if you hold these down for two seconds it should initialize the light to turn on or get it out of lockout mode is what we call it and uh, or sleep mode coincidentally if you want to put it back into sleep mode you can also hold down these two buttons and uh, it will blink three times in the front here to turn it off and if you want to turn it back on out of sleep mode you would hold these two lights down and or these two buttons rather the front and rear light buttons and this should turn on uh, charging it's pretty simple it has a USB-C char charging port here on the side uh, it takes about an hour or so to charge the light if you run it down to zero percent it'll take about an hour and a half to charge uh, pretty straightforward i like the usb-c charging port on it uh, operations is uh interesting I, I do recommend going through the manual to see what, how to operate this light it's got a lot of options let's start with the front light here so they call this the work light uh first press on the front button here is going to get you on the second press is going to get you off and if you hold down the front button it's going to engage the front and rear leds it's going to give you a solid front and a constant on rear uh, to turn that off you're going to push the front again and it goes off you can change the intensity of the lights via the dimming button here or intensity changing button whatever you want to call it uh, it's in the back here and we'll face it up towards the camera so you can see we're on the highest setting it's going to go down to the second highest third highest and finally the lowest setting here so there's four settings and then it's going to cycle back to the front and we're at the brightest we're going to send it down to a lower setting for our purposes right now i want to turn off the front led now we have three more buttons here uh, we'll go over this one real quick this is the uh the all mode flashing one basically you push this once sometimes it's a little hard to push because it's so uh rubberized but we get a full blinking array of lights including the top led here on the light and uh, as you can see on the side it does blink as well so you push that again and turn it off and to stop it now if you push this and hold it down it'll give you the scrolling portions of the rear and the front as well push it again and you can turn it off starting with the rear button this activates the rear leds only and it scrolls through a variety of options the first option is a constant on the second option is a constant blink and the third one is a scrolling and finally the fourth turns it off now if you hold this down it should give you a battery level indicator via an opposite scrolling side so i'm not exactly sure how to read it out as the manual does not say what these indicate but my guess would be if it lights up fully and it's close to 100 percent if it's about halfway it's about 50 percent uh, that's my assumption again it doesn't really state it in the manual or online literature but it does have some type of uh, battery level indicator via the re rear button here uh, moving over to the front button here uh, it's similar to the functions of the rear where if you push it once you can get the full front view uh, constant on you push it again and you're going to get a constant blink 
push it again and you'll get a scrolling. And finally, the fourth setting is off again and it rotates. Now, if you push and hold down the front, it should give you only the top LED in a on function. You push it again and turn it off. So pretty straightforward, the buttons here. Uh, UI is not too complicated, which I like for an, a device like this. You want to keep it simple. Um, the light itself is IP57 rated and it has two magnetic mounting points, one inside the light and the disc that it comes with. Very strong magnets. You can probably put this on top of your car for a short while of driving. Uh, I wouldn't drive too fast with it on your car. It might come off, but it's a very strong magnet. So it makes it very useful to use on clothing or on metal surfaces. How you would use it on the metal sur on a clothing surface, you would put this underneath your shirt or jacket, and this would go on top, and it will stay put however you like it. And you can also turn it to orientate it however you want the front LED to face, which is pretty versatile. Now, the run times on the light, uh, if we turn it on the blinking mode here, and we turn on brightest, I've run it on this mode for about two and a half hours, and uh, my data went out at that point. It might run a little bit longer than that on this mode. And of course, if you run it on different modes on high or a variety of different settings, you'll get a variety of different run times. They say in the online literature that it's going to be uh, one to five hours, depending on how you're running. So, for example, if we're running it on full blast, high visibility LEDs, meaning the highest brightness, with constant on like this with the front and back rear LEDs, you're looking at maybe probably around one hour is my guess. They didn't give me any information on the type of uh, capacity of the battery inside the light, so it's unknown at this point. So I can't really tell you what the milliamp hour capacity is of the battery. Other than that, it's a pretty sturdy light. Um, it's uh, got a little lanyard point here where you can attach a piece of cordage and attach it to your gear. So if the magnetic part were to fail or come apart, you can also rest assured you still have the main light. And on the bottom also, they have a bunch of accessories which you can attach via these screw points here. Different mounting options, which is kind of nice if you look on the website. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn off the lights and see all the lights here in different modes. Okay, we're back shooting an aperture at 6.3 and about 24 frames per second, ISO 640, with a temperature balance of 5,000 Kelvin on a Panasonic GH2. Here we have the front light engaged on the Guardian Angel Micro. This is the only white light on the particular light we have other than the top. And then we're at the lowest brightness setting, so we're gonna go ahead and change it to the highest brightness setting. Our second highest brightness setting. Our third highest or second lowest. And back to the lowest setting. And let's bring it up from the table here so we can kind of see that again from a uh, user's point of view. This is about roughly a foot off the table on low. This is on high. Second high. Second lowest and finally back to low. Let's go ahead and turn off the front light and start our rear and front lights on. This is constant on, on low mode. And that's mode one. Here's our constant on one. I'm gonna to try to get this mode going here. Sometimes pushing these buttons can be a little bit challenging, but okay, we have the constant on blinking. So here's the front. And here is the rear. And again, lying down flat. You can also look at the sides too, because that's important as well, if you oriented it and you happen to have it on the sides here. So that's on low mode. Let's turn on high mode here. So the brightness intensity just increases a lot. And you can kind of see based on the table here, we have four axes of light coming out of the light. So uh, on a horizontal plane, 360 degree lighting elements or signaling elements okay let's go ahead and rotate this again to scroll mode okay we're in scroll mode and high
come back to the top here. All right, we're back off. Let's do the top LED on high. And uh, this one's got a little bit more of a throw. So if you're looking for a, for a light that throws a little bit farther than the front LED, this is the other type of white LED that can uh, throw out pretty far. And this is on high. So let's go ahead and uh, get this to the lowest setting here. And again, this is about a foot off, about the same height as the other front LED we tested. But on low, you can see a little bit further with this one. And this is back on high, second highest, third highest, or second lowest, and back to low. And let's turn that off. And let's go ahead and try the party specials, what I like to call it. That means everything's blinking. And this is on high mode. So again, you have 360 plus a top LED. So if you have any type of uh, craft on top, uh, uh, like a helicopter or a drone looking for you, you can signal it and you don't have to worry about turning this up to signal. Uh, here's the front. Here is the side with the USB port. Here is the rear. And finally, here is the other side with the reflective uh, opposite from the USB-C port. And back to the front. And back to the shoulder mounted view, top view. Let's turn that off there. Here we can see the Guardian Angel Micro being charged via the USB-C charging port. We have the voltage output here, the current draw, 4.75 volts and about 3.9 amps is the load currently going into the light here to charge the battery. So final thoughts on the Guardian Angel Micro in white and orange configuration. I think this is a fantastic light. If you're doing any kind of road work or any business on or near the roads, or if you just want to be seen in the woods while hiking, it's very lightweight. Uh, it attaches to your clothing very effectively via the magnetic magnetic portion up here. Uh, you do want to be careful of using a compass with this. This will interfere with that, obviously, because it's magnetic, highly magnetic, I might add, with two magnets on it. Um, but it's very strong and resilient. The buttons are, are very strong. The rubber rise, tough rubber. Uh, it takes a little bit of force to push the buttons, which is okay in my opinion. The casing is some sort of uh, hard plastic. I'm not sure what type of plastic it is, but it's very rugged feeling. Um, it has a USB-C charging port, which is good because it's a more modern type of USB-C uh, charging, uh, or rather USB port. Uh, and in other words, it won't break like the micro ports usually do. It has a little holder here in the back for a lanyard. Well, that's pretty good to have on there and also on the bottom as i mentioned before we have the two screw ports here for additional mounting accessories which is really important so it's a modular system they included with the item uh, i like the fact that you have a variety of different leds on a uh, 360 horizontal plane uh, in this configuration and you can also include a top white light too uh, as well so you cover a lot more planes of signaling uh, overall, definitely something to look into if you're into doing any kind of traffic duty and whatnot, um, towing or whatever. Anything that involves being on the road and needing to be seen, it's, it's a good investment. Um, some negatives I can think of is there's no interchangeable battery compartment in here. And uh, they didn't list uh, what kind of battery is inside in the milliamp hours or the capacity of it. I would have liked to have known that. Um, with the light here and maybe one extra brightness level to really uh, home in on the daylight or daytime operations with this light. Other than that, um, not much else to say in terms of the cons. I think it's a fantastic light. It goes for $59.99 on their website. The bigger one, the Elite, I think goes for about $100. You want to check them out and uh, give them a good look if you're looking to have a good signal light on your persons for road work. And that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching and take care.